Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf your Wood and welcome back to another Dragon Blaze video. Today we are on step two. I was supposed to do this like last week, but then I was gonna leave it off, but then I thought about it. Uh, the next one is coming up in like two days from now. So it seems like we're getting guild takeover in league battles. So we're getting basically a guild war, is what I'm getting. Attack, defend, weekly, uh, well, this is going to be an issue for global. Let's go ahead and get into that right now. The only reason it's going to be an issue in global is because of the lack of players. And they mostly, like, recommend the highest guilds on the list. You know, when I say the highest guilds on the list, I mean just pretty much anybody who's level 60 are recommended before any other guild, even the new guilds. So let's go ahead and go down here. I'll explain more about the whole guild thing afterwards. So league battle. Who's the strongest journey to the top being now? So we're getting another PvP battle. Also, this is going to replace Fortress battle. Huh. Not really sure about league battle. I've never really actually gotten like a much information. And what's with the shoe over here? I thought that was just into something else, but oh, is that Christopher? Yeah, I think that's Christopher because I just saw the anchor. All right, reinvent guild system. So we're getting guild emblems. Huh? You can purchase them with guild coins, and now you can purchase buffs. For guild content. Hmm. Again, you're gonna need a really active guild for all these guild changes. Now this is gonna work. Now this works well in the Korean version, I can tell, but in this inside of global is kind of more of an issue. But I, I, like I said, I'll explain towards like the end. So we're getting new characters, Clay and Zane. I don't really know much about Clay, to be honest. All I like about her is her look, and people were calling her like Gala 2.0 when she came out and inside of the Korean version, but I'm not really sure if I'm going to build her, but I love her look. I might. If I build her and she's more aimed towards PvP, then hell, I guess I'll be doing PvP again. <laughs> Zane. I don't know about Zane. I think he's more of, I was going to say he was more of a tank more than likely, but it says mage. So is he, hold on, let me look this up. Is this guy mage or tank? Well, warrior. Oh no, he's just straight up mage. With melee. Okay, magic melee. So yeah, we have another mage on our hands, which he looks like a straight tank, I'm just saying. <laughs> but alright, maybe he is like pretty much a hybrid a little bit. But he seems like he's going to be really decent for magic teams. I'm not going to look at his skills or anything because you guys know I like to do like first impression reviews. But I am liking the fleets because you guys know I'm a huge fan of pirates and stuff like that. So I might be getting a couple of the fleet characters for sure. Alright, what else is there? Event 1, the whole dice rolling thing, we're already in that. And... I guess it's like one of their Facebook events or forum events? Not really sure. Yeah, official community event. Or something like that. So we got the attendance rewards going on. Alright, I can't wait to see what step 3 is. Considering that we just got, like, we're pretty much getting the story increase and getting guild changes. Alright, let me get in and talk to you guys about the whole guild situation. Alright, the reason I say the whole guild content is going to be, like, really problematic for global and... The, fir the first thing I want to talk about is the recommended. 
Not many people see this whole ranking thing here. And even if it is, look, they show the level 60s first by ranking, by default. And activity, that doesn't matter, because more than likely, they're still going to be all level 60 guilds. Auto accept? Auto accept is there too. It's good to have auto accept, but those who have like manual accept are pretty much going to be left in the dark. So, yeah, it's kind of difficult to get people into the guild. If I was to remove people right now, we'd probably have like 10 people left because. A lot of people are leaving the game because they feel like it's too grindy and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, that leads to another thing. Inactivity. It's hard to keep people active inside of Dragon Blaze just because most of us just night farm. Just go to sleep and let the game auto itself and collect essence. We don't really see, sit there and do anything anymore, so... It's hard to be active with your guildmates or anything inside of the game. Now and then we'll have like the casual chat inside of um, inside of like Guild Adventure or nah, mostly Guild Adventure is where we try and communicate or when I try and communicate with others. But we haven't really had many people joining in Guild Adventure anymore. Most people just stopped joining into it last time. Well, pretty much last week uh, we pretty much had a point where there was only four people who were doing Guild Adventure including myself and I don't even think guilds are gonna be really effective inside of like the guild war thing like it could be easy victories or terrible losses because pretty depending on who you get matched up with and I I'm just don't know how this is going to go. I'm interested to see, I'm going to say that. I'm pretty much going to show off the system and everything. Definitely can't wait to get my hands on that. Now I'm monitoring multiple Guild Wars. <laughs> it's just going to be weird. Let's say that. But I am down to try. There probably won't be like a lot of like guilds in it. But I'm still down to try it. So mostly step two is just like guild changes, guild revamp and stuff like that. Nothing like over the top weirding like new emblems for like this I'm guessing. And they'll have like a coin shop down here to where we could just click on and go and buy a new emblem and just go in here and edit it or something. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to change your emblem you can. So yeah, like I said, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how this all goes down. And if you guys are wondering why I haven't really uploaded a patch notes about this, it's because nothing interesting is coming. Apparently, this is going to be improved. So we're going to be getting cut in half on like the enemies we need to take out. So that's going to make it easier and faster. And transited pigs are coming back, so that means more rewards, yay! Adjust shoe consumes. Wait, what? Ah, oh, okay, so if, you do, if you're not using your um, burning points, it's going to be one consum consumption. So I'm guessing that's aimed towards tower? I'm guessing? But yeah, nothing like really special. I didn't really think there was any reason to upload this part, but eh, I decided to do this video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about the whole guild system. If you agree with me, it's going to be really weird because the whole game's not being like really active anymore. Um, let me know. I just want a little bit of your guys' opinion, the community, since, you know, we've most of us have left the game and most of us are still playing. I want like opinions of both sides, if anything. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time on the next one. Peace out. Swear it's gonna
make it better real soon Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose?